Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Had a false start earlier, but don't worry about that. Um, I have some uh, like fun stuff ahead of me because I'm like super close to getting done with uh, mind controlling all the war chiefs, and hopefully that'll you know go well. I gotta say, I feel like there's so much ending lag on this on this jump. Like, I feel like I have to spend so much time getting off of my knees after jumping. Now granted, maybe I'm complaining too much because, you know, normally you wouldn't be able to survive a jump that huge. But they made the damn towers that tall anyway, so maybe that's on them. You can see that I have a lot more uh, lethal lethal. Pardon me. I have a lot more guys on my side now. Which is pretty sweet. Uh, I don't know how the game works exactly with its uh, like a broken staff. Funny thing that they told us <laughs> this is a whole thing. So, there are five wizards, right? Everyone knows Gandalf. Open and shut. It's fucking Gandalf, you know? He's the most famous wizards, Lord of the Rings character. You know them? Oh, here we go. Is their power greater than yours? I have not yet been tested against them. Saruman the White is the leader of the White Council. His knowledge of the rings of power is deep. Pa. Uh... Yeah, so you got the uh, you got all the wizards. Pardon me. Don't worry, you'll fit in better this way. Ooh, you might have some stuff for me. Uh, anyway, yeah, so there are actually five wizards, and almost no one knows that. Because, like, Gandalf is, like, a trade secret to begin with. Do we? I have them all, huh? Ooh, Ulrock the Hacker is going to show up. Hmm. Well, thanks, anyway. Maybe I should deal with Ulrock the Hacker. Do I know his location? It's all the way up here. But I do know his location. I'll deal with him. Um, and then I'll go get the last war chief and I'll do some story quests as well this episode. Uh, so the story, there are five of them. And like that's one of those things that where like everyone like knows that, but it almost never comes up. Because Gandalf, like, yes, he, he has a bunch of stuff in the, like, Fate of Middle-Earth. But he doesn't actually do, like, that, that much. He'll sometimes, like, encounter guys. But he usually hangs out, like, he picks, like, I feel like Gandalf picks, like, a race that he likes. And then he rocks with them for a little bit. Like, he's like, oh man, I'm really into the elves right now. We should hang out with the elves a lot. And then later he'll be like, I like the dwarves. We should help the dwarves get their house back. And then he's like, you know what? I got into the hobbits last time I was here. We should double down to the hobbits. Let's get some hobbits going, huh? I like that. All right, the more I kill this guy, the easier it'll be for me to brand him. All right, who all we got? Damn, that breaks my combo, too. Guess I'm killing everyone, huh? I'm sorry, Worm, but I do not need you. For I have a great wealth of information. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> oh, he ha he's just winding up his line. Sorry, everyone. Oh, he's just sniffing. Did I kill you already? Because sometimes you can kill guys, and because they work for a dude named the Necromancer, they will come back. It really hasn't come up a lot. I don't think I've seen, like, anyone. Alright. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together for real, real. Your one, your number one guy is betraying you. Because he's on my side. Alright, so we got a betrayal we can do now. Is it in the same place? Doesn't look like it. It's here now. Interesting. Let's grab this. Fast travel is not available. Why for? Is it because we're currently in open war? That might be the case. Um. How about now? Okay. So yeah. Um. Sorry, I got off topic from the Yastari. Uh. But they're Gandalf. Radagast, who you might remember from The Hobbit. Saruman, who you remember from Lord of the Rings. He's the evil guy who gets confused with Sauron because their names are rather similar, despite the fact that they're initially unrelated. Besides the fact that they're like the same species. See, Saruman and uh, uh, Sauron and the Balrogs and all of them are all these spirits called Maiar, which are kind of like angels. Pardon me, fellas. Um, the Balrogs are like corrupted Maiar. The Astari became like Earthborn and are wizards. Lockbox key. There are still some paths open out of Mordor. The more we can set Mordor to flame, the more people will reach freedom. I love that. I love like, look, we can't save any lives with our power set, but we can just kill the enemy. Maybe we'll slow him down. But yeah, right against the brown was in The Hobbit. Um, Saruman the White was obviously, like that was a whole thing. Oh. Wait, isn't that not what you're trying to do? Uh, however, like, for all the fact that, like, hey, those are the five wizards and we only ever see two of them in Lord of the Rings and one of them in The Hobbit... Um... They never get mentioned a whole lot. I I don't even remember where the blue wizards are. I think they just left. I don't even know where they went, but they just left, you know? And, like, that's why they're just not so important. I think they even, like... I think Peter Jackson and the movies don't even have the rights to use the blue wizards. Which is uh, why they're hardly mentioned. And I think Gandalf has a line in The Hobbit where he's like, Oh, yes, they were the other two. What, are, what, what were their names? Oh, it's not important, you know? And he just kind of blows them off. Alright, fine. Both of you will die. That is all right to me. Oops. 
Wrong Buton. I don't think this is actually relevant, but um, at one point in the in the Hobbit, the book, uh, Gandalf refers to Radagast as his cousin. I guess because he doesn't want to just like blow the dwarves like minds by like, oh yeah, so I'm actually an Earthborn angel. Don't mind that. Damn, we all we almost got all those. We're missing what nine of them? All right, Ulrock the Hacker versus Asgrom. Uh, elite Captain versus Legendary War Chief. I don't know if the fact that they have cool titles, like the fact that it says Legendary War Chief, actually changes it. Um, this army will have discipline if I need to cut off all your heads to get it. Oh, he's just doing that creepy sniff thing. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, who are you? Rook Dug of the Black Gate. Rook Dug. I think we might have met a Rook Dug. What about you? Can I range you? Damn. and beat that filthy traitor to death with them. Ooh, yeah. See, what I want to do is grab him. Oh, yeah. Who's coming in? Yeah. I guess if it's a betrayal mission, then they directly just take right over. There's so many dead. So many gaps in there. Oh, right. Oop. Let me get you. The more of them are alive, the, the better it'll be. Because, like, if I kill them, now I just... I, I The slot is emptied and someone else comes in. And, like, you can see that there's a lot of dead in here. Like, I think there's more dead than there are alive. But if I leave them alive... Actually, I don't even want you to do that. If I leave them alive, then the slot doesn't get filled. That's a little thing that I was talking about last time, but like... Yes, it is a thing where like... Really, dude? Oops. It's a thing where like... I I just don't need them to be alive. I It's... Or, I don't need them to be dead. It's better for me if they're all alive, because then I don't have to do anything in order to get them, you know, back to work. Because now that I can have them, you know. I'm going to do this because I'm right here, and these are fun. Damn, these guys are far away. So the strongholds um, are obviously, like, you know, just a little mechanic. And, like, we hardly get the chance to look at the strongholds very much. Will that kill you? Cool. Pardon me, sirs. Might take a little heat from that, but that's okay. Oh, man. See, so the strongholds, I think... 
I actually don't know this because I have not played uh, the sequel, but I, as far as I know, Stronghold's actually become a mechanic in the sequel. How about we make some noise with you guys, huh? Um, but here, there's like, I don't even know if there's any of them in, uh, in the other area. What's the other one called? Uden. Um, I don't know if there's any in the Uden foothills. Uh, yeah, I just don't know of any in uh, any strongholds in the Uden foothills. Maybe there's like one or two. Yeah, there's one or two, but they're like pretty small. And these are like keeps, you know, like you have a whole castle. Yeah, now that I'm thinking like, yes, there are definitely some uh, strongholds in the Uden foothills. Peekaboo. Oh, that should have been brutalized. There we go. Nice. Urfel. Radical. You've completed half the legend. It's been reforged by the Wraith and the tale's been inscribed. It's a pretty looking sword. I'll tell you that for free. Ooh. Cool. We're starting to get uh we're starting to get pretty well through these. Pardon me, conspicuously light orc. Ooh, you eating good tonight, Mr. Karagor. But yeah, the in this part, I think what is this area called? South Mordor, I guess. I don't know. But in this part of the map, like, the, the strongholds always felt, like, so much bigger and cooler than me. But yeah, I don't fully understand how it works because I have not played the sequel. But to my knowledge, they actually make, um... They actually make the, uh, like, strongholds a bigger part of the game mechanics. All right. Let's go grab... So, yeah, all of these guys are just, like, they have, like, missions and stuff. But, like, I don't even know if anything will happen. Like, I guess they'll gain power, and we can use that to buff them up. Like, if we help uh, help them pass their hunt. But, like, yeah. I now, like, command a significant... Oop. portion of the army although actually I can also go back um, and do this to the fellas back in Uden as well I have yet to break the chains of the dark lord <laughs> oh yeah all right, let's do the story mission. Big game. The dwarf claims to more know about the artifacts from Celebrimbor's past. Shouldn't see me. Shouldn't hear me. It's a clean kill. The tattoos are really good. Your name, Ranger. 
Italian. Not worried. No lieutenant. No, actually, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake. We have a captain in our midst. We can turn him up. Well, that look sharp, eh? Captain's coming. What a dick. on the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny. <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a growl? That growl has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any growl. The largest one I ever came across. Oh, yeah. Really good shot of uh, Italian's asymmetry here. I should do just fine. I've been trained very well. I'm also possessed by an Dog edgy ghost. Silver was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct. And it's about guts. It's about drive. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> You're not that fat. You want basics on the hunt. I kind of appreciate that. There are so many people who think that, like, just having an inch of gut means that you can't do acrobatics. You know? Like... The hunt is its own beast. One you must oh, learn to Oh, yeah, take. Torvin. First lesson of Karagor hunting. Do not die. What do we need them for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. A worthy mount. These beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. I kind of come back from the dead, though, so... Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. But yeah, in that cutscene, you can really well, see how Talion's, like, missing his sleeve. Picked up their ways quickly. But Cargors, yeah, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took I kind of feel like this is like, oh, Wargs? Yeah, no, they're, they're a bunch Cargors. of crap. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid the good cleaning, eh? <laughs> the hunt is my mistress. Beautiful. Thrilling, infectious, and she doesn't nag like my wife. Boo! Ooh, Boo, sir! Until you've been on the hunt, Lord of the Rings is about Very loving your wife. Thank you very much. Like triumph. I disagree with your statement, and I refute this. I rebuke Ranger, thee. Over here! That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on a Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose then? Wouldn't you hop in and introduce yourself? Ask it for a ride. Hey, all right. Counter a leap and stun the beast. When a Karagor charges, you have two options. Knock the bastard down, let the bastard charge you. All right. Now, hop on and take you for a ride. Want to take you for a ride? This one is. I feel like the way that uh, Torvin has given me these, um, given me these pro tips. Like, you see how he like draws his hand back and places it on the Karagor's head. That's because that's Italian animation. That's a thing that Italian does. The same time it took me the tip one. You might be a natural. Because you know he's just using the same character writing animations. Too bad back there. Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Um. Nice place. Sounds depressing. But like the way that Torvin is training me here, it feels like he's like use your brand, and like no one else knows that I have that. Like Let's almost no one. Now that you tame the it's beast, a very rare ability. I'm gonna turn Torvin back down. Thank you for your service, sir. I'm just going to lower myself. Eh, that'll do. You get to see my cool edgy punk shirt. Hey, guys. Cutting on. 
Kill more. <laughs> Look, they even put give you a little scoreboard. That's so cute. Oh yeah, you have to bite the down ones. Yep. I, I love when it I love when it just like it's like a dog with a toy in its mouth also I know that we're not technically fully an elf we're only like partially an elf but consider that this is a dwarf and an elf keeping score in killing orcs shut up Torben. see the thing about this is that like I feel like this is the wrong lesson for Talion to learn because, like, we're doing a whole thing with, like, um, like, oh, hey, maybe the, uh, maybe this is morally gray, but that's what we have to do to survive. This is... It's just where it was. Ignore the shot of my room back there. The Alright. Better. Slightly better, I think. Oh, you're a worm? Squirm. It was one shot. That counts. You know that counts, dog. I like when the shield goes scrunch. Anyway, it's kind of weird to me how, like, I feel like uh, I'm getting pro tips for uh, an ability that is unique to me and no one should know that I have. I guess that's pretty classic video games, though, you know? Of, like, hey, you're a thing that no one's ever heard of before, but here's a tutorial about it. You know? The hunt is about discipline, training yourself to see the perfect moment rather than being told it. There we go, that's what I want for it. I once tracked a great eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be. Even before they tossed me to the rocks below. You should never bother the eagles. It'll just leave plot holes in your book. For reference, I do not think that the eagles... Like, not just solving the problem is a plot hole. So you get a lot of like... <laughs> oh man, it's using its psychic abilities! You get a lot more like move priority and like hyper armor and a lot of... A lot better ability to take stuff down from Karagor. Oh, dude. How far is this going to put me back? Okay, enough. No, retry. Okay. <laughs> You're pushing it, Torvin. Bad, Captain. You got the basics down. Now let's take on a fresh batch. We'll find another cow. Put you to a final test. Fight him however you like. Oh, running short on lessons? <laughs> running long on lip? You only I like running long on lip. When we face the crowd, can't always look to me for help. 
I ended up doing less story than I thought. Probably because I was goofing around with the orcs. But, like, that's the thing about this game. Like, it's so easy and fun to just find some orcs and just screw around with them. Let's do some killing then, huh? Dude, the moving makes it so hard to get a headshot. So yeah, this is essentially what the whole like DLC is about. Like the whole Lord of the Hunt DLC. Make him even shorter. The whole Lord of the Hunt DLC is just about Tally and Celebrimbor and Torvin teaming up and like riding Karagor and like I think you like find a new Karagor like style animal to ride. I think they put wargs in the sequel. But we were just goofing around. Sorry, I'm just having nothing but problems here. Pardon moi. Quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Go to him. So romantic. I guess like I don't know if I should even count as being on the rebound, considering that it's been like... Hasn't it been like years since my wife died? I like that. I love rolling off the back and just taking him down. Still only counts as one, huh? Testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Don't respect the beast. Need size and strength to fight the mighty Grog. Remember, hunt. Sir. Who knows? Yet we'll even call you sir. <laughs> Leaves a stinky stench of bacon beer and denim in his wake. Cool. This dwarf is far from home. Not all those who wander are lost. You guys, remember Lord of the Rings? Has that poem even been written yet? Is it possible for for that to be like a thing? So yeah, hey, we can do these now. We could before, but we didn't know that we could do them, so we didn't do them. Max focus. I might just max those out because like getting a lot of use out of them. And like it's just the ability to have more passives. Oh. I kinda like that. Um, that should be everything then. I've been Alfred. This has been Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. Thank you all for coming and watching. I've been having a very good time. Uh, this episode was kind of fillery, but it did have some cutscene in it. And we completed some big objectives. We've got the dang old, all the war chiefs branded. Um, I'll do some more story next time. But until then, I'll see ya. I've been Alfred. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.